You're visiting Roatan, Honduras. Yes, we have lots of bugs. I get this question all the time. We have all this nice lush vegetation that you can see right behind me. I've got a bee flying around me right now. There are, well, we're, we're kind of in the jungle. We are in a tropical island that does have a lot of greenery, which is nice. It's not all been taken out for other things. That really, but it also depends on your area where you're going to see the bugs. Uh, the least amount of bugs you're going to find are in the higher tourist areas because those areas are treated with pesticides, which is going to be like your West Bay Beach, some of your bigger resort hotels. They all do try to get, and they rake also, so it reduces sand flies and mosquitoes. You will hear a lot about the sand flies, no see -ems. They've got a, they've got a lot of names. They're pesky little guys that come out in the morning and at night right right after sunrise or right before sunset for about an hour they stink you can't well they don't really stink but you can't see them but they do turn your leg a little red and they do itch really bad uh, and they are anywhere that you find lots of sand so pretty much anywhere on this island you're going to find them so you can avoid them well you can go to different areas like West Bay Beach does spray, so it's going to be less uh, compared to if you're going to a natural beach like Sandy Bay, uh, West End, um, even Pristine Bay. A lot of the bays, they do treat, we do rake, but the smaller areas don't use the pesticides, so we're still going to get the bugs. They do make it better and, and like compared to if you were just on a natural beach, if you go farther out east. Uh, it is not treated and not really raked. You're going to get a lot more sand flies. But a few things that you can do is, well, any of the bug sprays. I hate DEET, but you know what? It works, uh, especially it reduces any type of transmission that mosquitoes do have. It's just, it's not a Roatan thing. This is just a, we live on a tropical island. There's just, there's bugs, which, you know, they kind of thrive here. So there are also some natural the items that you can use, like you can have um, baby oil works, any type of oils. Uh, for me, I have to be very careful with oil on my skin because then I will fry like, well, I will look red like a lobster, but a lot of people, especially for younger children, and you, if you have young babies sitting in the sand, uh, lathering up them up with some baby oil that has maybe a little bit of peppermint oil, or maybe that might burn a little bit, or lavender or anything. Uh, citrus, um, citronella, anything of that nature will help. Um, uh, we also have a lot of natural products on the island that you can kind of find all over the place that does have the natural oils, but it's just some type of oil on your skin. It makes it, well, the bugs don't like it as much. All of your bug sprays, the off, the DEET, the, the, you know, the really nasty green like deep woods, it works. It might burn your skin going on, but you're not going to get those sandfly bites. Or if you do, your, your legs are numb, so you're not going to see it anyway. So just a few things to think about with the sandflies, and especially if you avoid that sunset time, if you just go outside, even though the sunset is the best time, then that's when I'm on the beach. So I always put the skin protectants on my skin. Um, but if you are during in the middle of the day, it's going to be the best time to be at the beaches. Um, or if you just come right off the beach, uh, it tends to reduce your exposure to the bugs a little bit more. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you ever have any questions, my door is always open.